Oh, it's not gonna turn well at all, is it? Wait, this is gonna be good. Just climb. Oh no, the hooks. Wait! This is so good, yeah. Clear. Hi, I'm Robert. And I'm Rui. And we're, we're from, from the, the Unqualified, unqualified Pockers. So this is our proof of concept climbing mechanism. Um, it's a linear lift with a reaction climb. If you look at 6.5.2, uh, you can contact uh, carpet facing surfaces on the stage um, while, while you're climbed. The, the arms, the reaction arms would start um, up, stowed at the beginning of the match and then deploy before climbing. The advantage of this, this type of mechanism is that your center of gravity can be anywhere behind the lift and it'll still work, which leads into the other part of the climber. Since your center of gravity can be anywhere, why not hang another robot off the back? So here we have our patented Robo Wrangler. So we have a gearbox on this side driven by two bag motors driving this shaft of covered in Velcro. And we have two Velcro tags on the end of a loop of rope. And so the Velcro gets stuck to the shaft and then gets rotated around and wraps the rope around really well. And then on this side, we have a ratchet just so that uh, just a normal ratcheting spanner, which will then it stops the robot unwinding as we go as we go up. This also just folds out right before when you need it. This also means you can go rescue a dead robot and climb with them. The you also have these drop down forks that go underneath the robot because you can have half an inch gap in your bumper. If your forks are less than half an inch wide as they go through the bumper, then you can just have a separate front bumper here and two forks uh, through the cut cutouts. That's it for this robot. Good luck with the rest of your season.